Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is part five of Python Excel automation. In this session, we will be learn how we can split the data in multiple tabs, just like VBA using Python Excel Wings. So guys, to watch this session, I will recommend to watch the previous session of Python Excel Wings for your better understanding, okay? So first of all, let me show you the data. So guys, this is my the Excel data where I have multiple column, fine? So based on the state column, I want to split the data into the same workbook. So let me go to the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, I need to import the library of Excel Wings. Fine. So import Excel Wings as XW. And I want the another library, which is Pandas. Import Pandas as PD. Right. And here, let me define a file name equal to sample Excel SX. Right. And now let me open the Excel application, okay? So XW, which is app, and here visible equal to true, right? Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we have successfully opened our Excel, okay? Now what I need to do is, I'm going to create a object for workbook. So WKB equal to XW, which is books dot open, okay? And here you can define your file name. And in case you have file path, you can also supply the file path here. Okay. So as of now, I am working in current working directory. Okay. So simple, I'm getting the file name dot extension. Okay. And guys, once you create an object or file, then simple, you can access the particular spreadsheet. Fine. So let me close this workbook. And now let me run this. So you can see I have successfully opened this workbook. So guys, you can see here, this is my the workbook, which is sample dot Excel SX. And here I have only one spreadsheet, which is orders. Okay. Or let's say in case you are going to open this file or this file is already applied the filter. Okay. So first of all, you have to remove your filter. Fine. So how we can do that? So simple WKB, which is seats. And here you can target the specific seat name and you can access the seat name by an index. Okay. So I have only one spreadsheet. So my index will be zero and API which is auto filter mode equal to false, right? And now let me show you the workbook name as well. So guys, this is my the workbook name, fine. Now the question is how we can get the unique value of a column, okay? Unique value means, so let's say I have the state column. So how can I get the unique state name, okay? So guys, using the pandas, we can access the unique value from a specific column. Okay, so PD, which is data frame. And here you can use XW, which is load. And let's say zero, it means first workbook, right? And here you can use the column name, which is state. And here unique, that's it. Now let me run this. So guys, these are my the unique state name where I need to apply the loop on these state, okay? so simple for this is state in pd and data frame let me write once again here xw which is load and zero and state which is unique that's it okay so using this variable which is st i can access the unique state name all right so guys first of all i am going to create an object for that particular spreadsheet so I'm going to take a variable, which is order equal to WKB dot seats. And here you can define that particular sheet name, which is orders, All right? Now I'm going to apply a loop on the state, okay? So let me remove this. So simple order, which is API dot range. Now I'm going to select the entire data. How we can select the entire data? Using the current reason, current reason and auto filter right now what is the field name so the field name which is state and it is located on e column means fifth column so you can supply that particular index here fifth and here what is your criteria your criteria is whatever your state name okay so you can define here as t once you apply the filter for an example let's say kentucky or uh, let's say alabama so this particular data you have to select 
or you can say that this particular visible data you have to select and copy okay so how we can do that order which is api dot range even dot current reason and spatial cell okay the spatial cells and here you need to supply excel cell visibles okay only you have to copy excel cell visibles okay guys so what is the value of that excel cell visibles which is 12 okay how you can check so let me go to the excel and here let me apply let's say sub just test so simple range a1 dot current reason which is a spatial cells and excel cell visible okay this one dot copy now let me run this now when you take the hover here so this is excel cell type visible equal to 12 okay so that's why i'm going to supply here 12. fine what you want i want copy that's it fine and here let's say i'm taking a variable which is sst equal to wkb.seats dot add by the name of a state okay now sst dot range which is a1 dot api and paste the space right and after that what i want i want to auto fit the column as well okay so how we can do that sst dot range a1 api which is current reason dot entire column okay entire column dot auto fit auto fit fine so guys once you auto fit all the column now you have to disable the cut copy mode okay so sst which is api and application dot cut copy mode equal to false or you can define equal to zero right and now once i get all the state name after that what i need to do is i need to remove the filter from main sheet which is order right the zero fine and what can i do order dot activate now let me run this so let me remove the filter here so guys what will happen first of all i will apply a loop on the unique state name then i will filter the data and that filter data i will copy in the separate spreadsheet okay now let me run this so you can see here right so the same kind of stuff we can perform in vv programming as well the every time that particular state is going to filter and that particular state is going to add into a separate spreadsheet name and accordingly i'm going to paste the data all right so this process continue run until all the state name will filter all right so now you can see here by the last state name which is west virginia fine so guys i hope you understood how we can easily split the data using the excel wings okay now let me go to the jupyter notebook okay and here i'm getting the error which is order dot activate so what i need to do is so here i need to write order simple activate in lowercase now let me run this so you can see here we have successfully activated the order sheet and guys now let me tell you the second method how we can access the unique state name from this data okay and we will not use the pandas library anymore to get the unique state name okay so what i need to do is so first of all i need to pick this particular column okay i'm telling you in excel then i will copy and i will paste here then simple i can use remove duplicate right and click okay then you can see here i am getting 49 unique values so the same kind of stuff we will perform using the excel links okay so how we can do that so i am going to take a variable which is total rows okay so the order which is range and i am going to get the column range based on the first column okay so simple first row and first column 
and and here down dot row okay and now here i can say that print total number of rows simple total rows it has to be small r so guys you can see here i have 9995 rows let me check in excel as well right 9995 so i need to copy this particular e column okay and here i can say that order which is api dot range column e1 to e and plus i need to use str okay because we can't concatenate string to integer okay so this is my the total rows are integer so i need to convert into the str or you can say that in a string and copy right once you copy then you can paste on a specific column so order which is api and range i want to let's say on o1 and paste the space right and after that i can use cut copy mode this one order right and here you can use false and zero as well now let me run this so guys you can see here i have successfully pasted the data on o column now i can remove the duplicates data okay so how we can do that so simple order api and range column is o plus str of j and here you can use remove duplicates right and columns i have only the single column right so column 1 and header equal to 2 what it means now let me tell you so for an example range o1 current reason dot remove duplicates and which column you are going to target let's say i am going to target first column and header equal to excel no in case you are using excel no then you have to supply the two right the same thing i am doing here header two okay now let me run this okay so it is not a j it is total rows total rows okay so guys you can see here i am getting the unique state name which is 50 okay including header now it's simple you can apply a loop right how we can do that so for st in range 2 and order api and range o1 okay dot current reason rows dot count plus 1 now i can access the state name range and o and here we need to use str of st and simple value now let me run this so guys you can see here i am getting the unique state and after that the same stuff you can supply got it okay so couple of thing you have to remember how you can get the unique data and how you can apply the loop on the particular column and simple filter the data and simple filter the data and copy the visible cells add the spreadsheet name by the state name and paste the data simple and once you paste the data in case you want to auto fit yes you can use the auto fit and disable the cut copy mode and auto filter that's it and here how we can count the total rows so guys this is the particular method which is range dot end excel down dot row okay so you will get how many of total rows you have in that particular column and simple the copy the particular data and paste the special and here i am going to remove the duplicate values and here simple i am going to apply the loop right and here i can show you how many worksheet i have so wkb.seeds.count so guys you can see i have 50 spreadsheet there are 49 state and one spreadsheet name which is orders okay so guys this is all about in this session and i am hoping this session will help you a lot in case do you have any question on it please let me know in the comment in the next session we will learn how we can consolidate these spreadsheet 
into a single sheet okay meanwhile do practice of this session as much as you can thanks for watching and have a great day